Hello, darlings. You've all heard of Marilyn Monroe. Some of you know Bridget Fardo. Well, now it's time for the cognac show. I said cognac. Ooh, ooh. I said cognac. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm your family blonde, fabulously dressed. Darlings, I'm Cognac Lane, and I am here with the filmmaker and director of Bunker 77, and his name is to Takuki Mas Masuda. Masuda. Takuki Masuda. Now, this is a fabulous film, and um, tell my audience what the synopsis of the film is about. It's a true wild story of an American rebel who surfed. Uh, you know, he really impacted surfing because he was an uh, innovator in sh riding short shore board in very, very dangerous waves. And, uh, he, you know, he was doing this 45 years ago, and today it became a s standard to ride this kind of length of board. But then also he had this uh, very uh, diverse scale. He, he wanted to make film with uh, Kenneth Anger. So he was going through this black magic phase in, on the beaches of North Shore of, of Hawaii, and people really couldn't figure out what he was doing. Very so, superstitious. Yeah, and then, you know, he, he was kind of provoking and he was, you know, he was doing what he wanted and he was beyond the social norm and I think uh, he confused a lot of people but he left a lot of good impression and also he became great friends with all these people that are influencing the surf world as we know it. You know, he mentored Tony Alva, world champion skateboarder, who is the godfather of skateboarding. Laird Hamilton, probably the most famous surfer, along with Kelly Slater. You know, he, they, he really touched these people's lives and they give their heart out for my movie, to for the testimonies and, uh, yeah, and, but he's very unknown, you know. Like, the industry in, in general, even the surf journalism or mainstream really never paid attention to this guy because he never really cared and he was never behind uh supported by the he doesn't really care about yeah. publicity he he didn't you know he yeah. actually wanted to you know but you care yeah. you care about I'm, publicity. I'm right here with you Cornel. that's yeah. right that you're right here with me now you're an expert surfer yeah i was a champion of japan and uh yeah ranked single-handed for i working. watch the surfers every day in front of my house oh. i live in lido beach oh. and i'm enthralled enthralled by these guys how they just get up on that surfboard i mean of course we don't have the waves that japan has or hawaii but I'm still enthralled by it all. I really, really am. Right. I mean, you have great waves here. I just surfed like about an hour ago with my really? guys, yeah, right here in the Hamptons, and the waves were fantastic. Well, the same water is in Lido Beach. Great. Now, I'm sure it's good tell there. my audience, yeah. tell my audience, you're also involved uh, in the film with yeah. Ed Norton. Yeah, he and, should be arriving pretty soon. And also, I. Clark Gable's son. Yeah, uh, Clark Gable's son, John Gable, as well as the grandson. What does he like? Does he look like as handsome as Clark Gable? He is a handsome man. Oh, I'm surrounded man. by all these okay. handsome people, you know. Well, well, it was wonderful to talk to yeah. you, and I'm, I'm very inspired to see this film because I love surfing. I want you to tell my audience where we could go to find out more information. Do you have a website? I do. I have a Bunker77film.com, and uh, so please come visit us there. And then uh, we, we also have social, uh, hashtag, you know, Bunker77film. So thanks so much, Cognac. You're gorgeous. Give me a kiss. Thank you, Thank you very you much. Love. And we'll be back in a moment, darlings. More interviews right here on the red carpet at Bunker77. Pink champagne kisses. He was the most fun guy to have in the water with you. 
the most fun guy. Star in his own mind, he knew it. It's a matter of time before everybody else figured it out. He never rode a surfboard like anybody else. It was obsessive. He was a dangerous man. He rode some of the shortest boards early in the shortboard era. You know, they had little footsteps in the deck and holes through them for air induction. Weird, funny, freaky fin. Nobody was ready for it. Just a young kid out of Hollywood. That period of time was pretty radical. They used to ride the pipeline. Pipe's perfect. They go right before a lot of guys are going right. Nobody starts the right. I mean, it's eight feet. It's death defying. We had the whole place to ourselves. Nobody rode that place. He never rode a surfboard like anybody else. He was of the sparkle sugar and Empire. Clark Gable steps in. All of a sudden, the guy was familiar. It was amazing. One day, he just showed up and he had like bills that you had never seen the numbers that high before. He went from like not a t shirt on his back to like happy birthday. Where do you want to go and what do you want to buy? Beverly Hills Hotel. For color shoes. Mercedes Benz. Presidential suite. Dinner with the King and Queen of England. Presented himself like he was Mick Jagger. He was a hybrid. A little of everything. It's very exotic. Everybody wanted him. They were all gorgeous. Drop dead gorgeous broads. Devastating lands. He was a playboy. He had this gorgeous girl with an Ellie. Nobody could compare to Ellie. Beautiful looking. Ellie was his dream girl. He told everybody that, so I mean, there was no mistaking how he felt about her. There was never any bullshit. He had got his hands on Mick Jagger's jumpsuit. Tony Elva was wearing that jumpsuit, and I watched him win the world championship. Bunker totally trained and made me go through a regimen. Created a lot of fantasy that all things are possible. We have pretty much an unlimited expense account. It ain't like today where you got the sponsorship. Drugs is just like an easy way to make money. He wanted me to shoot film. He wanted to make an everlasting mark. We did a film called The Cato. International jet set surfer playboy, like something that nobody else was. I'm yeah, Cognac Bolena, and we're here at the Hamptons International Film Festival, and I'm here with Diana, the commissioner of the Suffolk County Film, right? Yes. Okay, we'll be back in a moment, darlings. More interviews, more celebrities at the Hamptons International Film Festival. Big champagne kisses. <laughs> Dressed to impress. One of a kind girl. It's been a Cry Baby Productions, darlings.